Bonjour, I'm the chef from Café Gaia in uh, South Yara. Uh, I'm from Lorraine. And uh, the quiche is a quiche Lorraine. I think that one of the main tricks lays in the pastry, resting the pastry. That's very important. Once you know it's rested, roll it with flour. Uh, do not put too much flour because we have just the right amount we need for the pastry. So try to work with as less flour as possible. Uh, roll your dough into the pastry case. Make sure that it's nicely uh, tight around the edges. Then with a fork you prick little uh, dots around that helps it to give a little bit of a, of a lift and crunchiness at the bottom. Once you did that, then resting the pastry. That's very important. Then put your blind, blind baking uh, filling, whatever it is, rice, beans, I don't know. Um, pop it in the oven straight away. Blind bake it in the oven at 180 degrees to 200 degrees. Put your timer on uh, 12 minutes. Meanwhile, prepare the filling. Blanch the bacon or fry the bacon. Uh, if you fry your bacon, uh, drain the fat out with a uh, strainer and let it dry out on paper towel. Uh, mix your five eggs with your 200 ml of cream for cooking. Season to taste, a little bit of nutmeg, a tablespoon of white wine. I had my doubts when I first used uh, the cream for cooking because most of the low-fat creams, uh, there's a moment where the fat proteins, uh, you know, especially in the low-fat cream, uh, splits uh, with the water, but it didn't happen with the cream for cooking. It's also pretty good for whipping. Pretty much impossible to whip a cream that has less than 30% uh, fat content, but uh, that cream whips really well. Put your bacon in. Once your pastry is blind baked, pour the filling straight away into uh, the case. You don't have to wait until it's uh, cooled down, it's not going to make any difference. Put it back in the oven, same temperature, 180 to 200 degrees for anything between 20 and 30 minutes, depending on the thickness of your filling and the height. My advice is to cook it just un until it's set. If you like a, a brown uh, top, you just finish it off under a salamander uh, for three, two to three minutes, or under a grill, just a couple of minutes to brown, brown the top. We have a nice, crisp, uh, acidic salad that uh, we dress with lemon juice, oil and garlic and that's it. And an Australian wine actually is good. Chardonnay, yeah, I'll go for that.